Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node.js, we will learn how we can render HTML and JSON on the pages with the help of Express.js. In last video, we learned that how we can create home page and about us page and help page and all. So in this video, we will learn how we can change this normal text data with the HTML tag and with the JSON. So let's see what we are going to do in this video. First of all, we will print HTML tags. I mean to say render HTML tags and uh, then we will show JSON data. And after that, we will learn how we can go uh, from one page to another page. And for that, we have to make anchor links. So how we can create these anchor links. And at the last, we will discuss our important interview question also. So here you can see that on a home page, we have a normal text. So let's say we want to just make this text a little bit bold. So how we can do it? Obviously, we can make h1 tag. So the answer is how we can apply this HTML tag. Simply, there is a no uh, rocket science and all. Just provide a HTML tag inside it with the string. So how? I can show you. Just simply use backticks and now use h1 tag. Just close this h1 tag. And this right here, welcome to home page, like this. And now let's refresh it. And now you can find that we got the bigger text. Great. So now let's uh, try to do the same thing on the uh, about us. But here what we want, we want here an input box. So how we can do, do that? So let's do the same thing. First of all, apply these backticks like this. And then let's use here uh, input tag, input type text placeholder is let's say username. And then we can close this and uh, you will see that on about us page now we have a input box but uh, we just need to write some proper text here why this no okay so we have to just close this text first or uh, type first then our placeholder will be visible great so now if you want to add one more button then this is also simple just add a button tag here like this And uh, we can simply add uh, some text here, like click and all. And this is visible. Perfect. So now after that, let's say you want to see that how we can uh, show the render data. So how we can do it. For that, inside this send, just simply use here object, provide name, let's say Peter. Email can be let's say peter at the rate test.com and that's it for get the JSON data. And let's say if you have more than one user's data, what you can do, you can just simply add here uh, array after that your first user data and second user data. And let's change this, let's say Bruce. And change the email address also and now you will find that we have the two users data one for Peter and another one for user great so now let's say you want to just jump from one page to another page you want to go from home page to about us page and how you can do it for that let's simply add here anchor tags href let's provide here about and uh, Now let's close this anchor tag, provide here a link. You can just say that go to go to about page. And let me just jump on the home page. I can go to the about us page. This is working fine. And if you want to do the same thing with the about us page also, and you want to go on home page, then just remove this tag because our home page is actually the root path. So go to home page. You can change this text also. Refresh it. And now we can go from the user to home and home to 
about and about to home right so all right so now the last question which is last topic which is interview question in interview they can ask that even i this thing i already told you in the previous video but still if you want to just see that question uh, let's say we have a query parameter the like name is peter then how we can access it inside this html page so let's say on uh, this input box you want to show the uh, query params username so how you can do it, do that let's see so first thing is that just simply use here a value and inside this value use the curly braces with the dollar and uh, let's put here request dot uh, query dot name and now let's let me provide here example name is anil and here you can see that we are getting here anil bruce peter everything is working fine so with that way we can get the data from uh, uh, query param and show it, it to the input box thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video